Welcome to day two of the Regimen Week here at Acne.org. Today I wanted to show you exactly what I do in the evening, my evening regimen routine. And today we're going to be watching a movie. That's what happened to be going on when we decided to do this video. So I'm like, hey you guys, I'm going to go to the regimen. And I come in here and I actually go ahead and brush my teeth first. Um, I mentioned that yesterday and last week when I wash your teeth first real quick. Then I'm going to wash my hands real quick and get my face wet real gently. I'm using warm water there and I like to use two pumps of cleanser and then get a nice lather going. The more lather you get the easier it is to glide the cleanser across your skin so I make sure I take some time to get a good lather going and then just very gently kind of move the lather across my skin. I'm not rubbing at all. I'm just letting the cleanser do its job. So I'm just kind of putting it on there. That was 10 seconds or less. And then warm water again. I'm gonna rinse it off. And I pretty much just let the water remove the cleanser. Again, I'm being really gentle. I'm trying not to rub it all. Uh, the, especially the Acne Order Cleanser comes off completely just with water, so you don't need to do any rubbing. By the way, I'm wearing a shirt here. It's just kind of for modesty purposes, but um, if I'm not being filmed, I don't wear a shirt when I'm doing this so that I don't get my shirt wet. And I can put my shirt right back on after I'm done cleansing, but I usually take it off when I'm cleansing so I don't get it wet. And then I'm going to very gently pat dry. Again, I dry with the edges of my towel. I keep the edges of my towel pristine just for my face. And that was it, just a really quick pat dry. All right, and then it's back to the movie. And we were watching kind of a bad movie this day, so um, we like to kind of make fun of movies when they're not so good. <laughs> and so this is my 5 to 15 minutes that I'm waiting after cleansing before I apply benzoyl peroxide. Fast motion, that was about 10 minutes, I think, this night. And I'm back in the bathroom, just do a quick wash of the hands. And this is the treatment, benzoyl peroxide. And I'm actually doing two and, two and a half pumps this day. Uh, Two pumps is for the whole face, but I do a little bit more than that because I also do my neck at night. So that's what that extra half pump is for. And I spend time looking at myself in the mirror, dabbing it on my face to make sure that I have kind of the right amount on each part of my face. But then as soon as I've got the, the right amount everywhere, I kind of return to the world because <laughs> it's too boring to just stare at myself in the mirror there. So you can see I'm already talking to Kent as he's videotaping here. And I'm just going to go rejoin everybody and keep watching the movie. Because I've been doing the regimen for so long, I kind of have a sixth sense of how much benzoyl peroxide is left on my face, where I've put it, where I haven't, etc. So if you're just starting on the regimen, you're probably going to need to spend the first month or so staring at yourself in the mirror to get this regimen down but after a while you can you can do this you can hopefully just uh, hang out with people and be able to tell where the benzoyl peroxide is um, having said that I have become accustomed to all of the reflective surfaces in the house and I know that right to my right there my, my left your right well there I am looking at the my reflection in the in the window at night I can see my reflection and I do like to have a reflective surface around to just make sure that everything's going well. If all else fails and I don't have a reflective surface, I can usually just feel it out, but I like to be able to just double check. I'm really gently applying here, making sure that I get every little square centimeter of my skin. So I'm just sitting here watching the movie. The regimen's just part of my part of my night. I'm not wasting any time hanging out with friends, watching the movie. The only time that I'm really missing out on is when I pause <laughs> the movie and go wash my hands, but otherwise I can be part of part of the night. 
and again I'm I usually use uh, I usually wait for my nose for last because my nose is the greasiest part of my face and it feels right to me to to leave that for last we're making fun of this movie it's so bad takes a while to get the benzoyl peroxide in there, but patience is rewarded with clear skin. It really is. Um, the more patient you are and the, the gentler you are with benzoyl peroxide, the better. The better off you'll be, the, the less acne you'll have. And I'm just going to quickly do my neck here. Benzoyl peroxide helps a lot with razor bumps. And so on the top of my neck and then down in the Adam's apple area there, I put benzoyl peroxide on at night. And that helps prevent any bumps on my neck as well. So that's about it. I just get off any little remnants. And then as soon as I'm done with the benzoyl peroxide, I'm going to want to go wash my hands because benzoyl peroxide can bleach fabric. So I don't want to bleach anything in the house, that's for sure. So just a quick wash of the hands. Um, I use multiple sinks around the house for this kind of stuff. So boom, I just went to the kitchen and washed my hands real quick. Then I'm just, boom, back to the movie. Hanging out. Another five to fifteen minutes waiting for the benzoyl peroxide to dry watching the movie chatting with everybody chilling out I'm a control freak so I, I always need the remote <laughs> and then I just a quick wash of the hands and normally most nights I go ahead and moisturize like I do in the morning but about every third night I use alpha hydroxy acid nice thick fingers length worth so I figured since yesterday I showed you guys how I moisturize, I would show you the AHA today. And I just kind of get the AHA on my fingers, and then I apply it just like I would uh, benzoyl peroxide or moisturizer. Just kind of get it on there. It stings, but I love it. I'm really into alpha hydroxy acid. It takes my skin from clear to just almost perfect. It just lends a glow to the skin. Um, exfoliates the surface, helps with flakiness, uh, and the Acne.org AHA, I put this ly lycocalcone in there, this licorice root extract, which is super soothing to the skin, so I, I really like using the AHA every few nights. If you're new to the regimen, don't use the AHA. Wait until you've been on the regimen for a month or so um, for your skin to be, become accustomed to benzoyl peroxide first. And then this is as my finishing part. I just put a couple drops of jojoba oil on my lips, and I'm pretty much good to go. Um, I did want to show you, however, on the nights that I don't use AHA, I go ahead and just do, do regular moisturizing. And I use two full pumps of moisturizer and a ton of jojoba oil, probably twice the amount I use in the morning, about 12 drops or so. I really like to be moisturized. So I put a ton of uh, jojoba and moisturizer on at night. I don't care if I'm shiny while I sleep. And I am also uh, equally obsessed with jojoba oil as I am with alpha hydroxy acid. Jojoba oil is fantastically kind to the skin and at least for me has been great for acne. Um, it really helps with um, oil production. So that's me looking a little shiny. <laughs> um, and again, a couple drops of jojoba on the lips. Wash my hands one last time to make sure I don't bleach anything. And I'm back to the night, not missing a thing at all.